a high government official in this nation who I have the privilege of relating to as a friend and we talk very deeply. He's a man we all should be praying for as remaining corruptible. He won't take, he won't give. And if you try to give him, we will get angry with you. Shortly after he assumed office, an honorable man came to him and said, hey, blah, 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 your excellency, give us your account where we will be paying your own allocation every week. So he squared up and sat up. I said, what do you mean? He said, yes, give us your account. And every week, three million will be going to that account. Three million dollars. I'm telling you with uh, <laughs> listen to this this is a man that for 25 years 25 years related to him has not told me a lie sometimes I ask him I say, how do you survive among this among this shark 3 million dollars he said he developed good pimples. <laughs> and he said, Gentlemen, what's that for? He said, Well, that is how we do it. People in your office ask his own. People in this place and other and began to say it. Ah. He said he was thinking in his mind. How many youths will be employed and paid? with three million dollars every week you, that's how he was thinking and then the man said that's how we do it he now asked him he said excuse me you are a french man with one of the other companies you are a french man can you do that in your country france this man was asking him. and the man said ah you don't try it you go to jail but this is Nigeria. Did you hear me? I'm not talking to you fable. I'm talking his own experience. He said, but this is Nigeria. Ah, he said he stood up. And by virtue of his position, if you are in a meeting with him and he stood up, you must stand. Protocol. Stood up. He said, gentlemen, walk out of my office. I will not be party to that. Not now. Not in the future. Not forever. Get out of my office. And watch it. I've marked you. We're only two talking. When we got to that point, I stood up and I was clapping for him. Because in that office, he decided to manifest God's kingdom of righteousness. Wait a minute. Let's talk the truth. There's corruption in the church. The preachers against corruption are corrupt. They will come and be telling you testimony and they won't tell you the water that passed under the bridge. Let's deal with this thing. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. My respect for this gentleman went through the roof. One other time we were talking and he said, another gentleman that we appointed to head a particular place gave me a, a gift a book as a Christmas gift he said I was busy I just put it aside after a couple of weeks I just picked that book to look through it and I discovered that there's an envelope inside are you with me I look at it $25,000 don't say ah for the office that the man occupy if okay, if you can be offered three million dollars every week, what's twenty-five million thousand? What's twenty-five thousand dollars? He look at it. He said, ah. "But it's a very dear brother that we have known for a long time." 
So he called him, see me. What is about this? I said, that is your, uh, your Christmas gift. He said, is it from you personally or representing the office you occupy? In that office you occupy, with what we all earn, how do you get a gift of $25,000 to give me for Christmas? Take your book, take your money, and don't ever try that again. And take note, I mark you. Pastor Koju, can I talk? <laughs> Manifesting the kingdom. There are other side of it. The righteousness. Don't stop. Let me talk to you as a father. Don't stop as saying, I'm the righteousness of God in Christ. I know that. I have known it since 1974. I've read everything about it. I've listened to argument about it. I've listened to the finest teachers. I've read all the book of E.W. Kenyon. I've read all the books of Kenneth Hagin. I've read all the exponents of new creation reality. But my friend manifests his kingdom on earth. Don't just know it. Don't just say it. Do it. If all of us begin to do it, Lagos will change overnight. Nigeria will change overnight. Nigeria will be the light of the world. And I still believe that in my time, it will happen. Because we will manifest the kingdom.